All right, Kendis, now we turn to the McDonald's corruption trial today. Former Virginia Governor Bob McDonald was back on the stand, and today it was his wife's attorney's turn to question him before prosecutors began. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg's been covering this trial from the beginning. He's live from Richmond with the focus of today's cross-examination. Jeff? Well, Allison, that cross-examination is still going on right now. A lot of questions about financial records. Throughout the day, the lead prosecutor has been trying to discredit the claim by the defense attorneys that the McDonald's marriage was broken and that they could not have possibly conspired to commit these crimes that they've been accused of. Throughout the day, though, we heard a lot of this from Governor McDonald. I don't know. I don't recall. I don't remember. However, when he was asked early on by the lead prosecutor about cross-examination, the governor saying, I've been preparing for this ever since the day you indicted me. Walking into court before what would clearly be a difficult day on the witness stand, Governor Bob McDonald sounding quiet and reserved. I feel very good. How did you sleep last night? I slept very well. During cross-examination, U.S. Attorney Michael Dry expressing strong skepticism over McDonald's repeated claims that he was not aware of the many financial ties between his wife Maureen and Johnny Williams. The governor says he was angry about a $50,000 loan his wife received from Williams in 2011, but didn't call the businessman about it for 30 to 45 days after finding out. It's my wife's loan, Mr. Dry, said the governor. On the New York City shopping trip in 2011, McDonald says he didn't find out Williams paid for it all until 2013. Despite the fact he and Maureen stayed in the same hotel room that night, shopping bags on the floor. It didn't occur to you maybe Mr. Williams didn't pick up that tab. Is that what you're testifying to, asked Dry? That's exactly what I'm testifying to, responded the governor. Dry also asking McDonald this. Does your wife have a history of making inappropriate requests for money from family and friends? To which the governor responded, yes. The prosecution also dubious of the governor's claims that both his family and real estate company were not in financial trouble, despite emails and bank statements to the contrary. The prosecution is suggesting through the way it's going about things is uh, are wrong, are basically fabrications that have been made up and convenient part of the defenses, but don't really have an underlying reality to it. And as Allison mentioned prior to the cross-examination, the governor taking questions from Maureen McDonald's lead attorney. He again, as he had the past, has the past couple of days, talking about his wife's behavior, which he considered to be erratic and not normal. Governor McDonald also revealing some details about his wife's mental health treatment in 2012. More on that coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Until then, live in Richmond, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. All right, Jeff.